Well, here we are on day three, oh my goodness, of our corporate coaching challenges, four proven strategies to get your first corporate client. And I think, golly, just yesterday we had uh, six strategies. Today, today is the is also a fun day. I was like a kid before Christmas thinking, I can't wait to share with all of you the fun things that we can be doing, yes, in addition to, you know, the one-on-one -on -one VIP coaching, but I want to share with you a multitude of beautiful opportunities. And let's get you uh, talking as well and sharing. And so just curious, before we get going, takeaways from yesterday. We've had 24 hours to kind of simmer because yesterday we talked about, you know, making a list of people that know us, like us, trust us in our kind of our warm 100 mile radius. Now you can still do more global. We'll talk more about that today, but why not look for the low hanging fruit and the delicious fruit in our backyard so that we don't have to work so hard, right? Anybody up for working easier and less? Uh, yes, exactly. Yeah. More abundance, more ease, more fun, more contribution. Right. Okay, good. So any takeaways from yesterday? Make a list, do a, uh, have schedule a little conversation, extra bonus points, have the conversation, track, you know, what, what people are saying about what are their biggest challenges? What are they seeing that's happening in manufacturing and healthcare, in uh, retail, whatever it is, getting their point of view expressed. Yep. Any thoughts about what we've covered so far? Emerging ideas. Excited? Intrigued? Okay, cool. Well, good. Great. Thank you. Kim, jump in. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I, I was excited. And as I sat down to make my list, um, I was like, you know, I just felt like it was limited. And um, once I started, I don't know, it's kind of like if you see one ant there, then if you broaden the view, you see like ants everywhere. Then I start mm -hmm. to see all these different types of companies and industries and things like that. And so, um, and all within like 100, 120 mile radius. And so I did capture a lot and I did do the outreach to people I, I was intending to outreach, I mean, to reach out to anyway. Beautiful. So um, I didn't get to do it yesterday, but I did do it this morning. So I will I expect some replies and I made a list of other people that I'm going to reach out to. So it got me, you know, it got the ball rolling for me and gave me a jump start. So I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Excellent. And, you know, this is what a challenge is all about is, and, and by the way, I, I'd, I'd love to invite each of you to be kind of thinking parallel processing you know, computers can do parallel processing, as we know, for all of us have been in tech, you know, when Den and, been in medical and all these different areas that we're processing on one level. So processing on the level of your learning, your experiencing, you are doing things to build your business, but then processing at a different level to think, oh, I could do what Kathleen is doing in corporations. I could do what Kathleen is doing. I could be teaching something new, which is what I hope you will do, in corporations, organizations, associations. I could be running a challenge. Hello. Y you know, people in corporate, they're always looking for something that is new, fresh, different, and aligned with the results that they're looking for, right? So partnering with your key advocates in your corporate clients, you know, building those beautiful relationships and hey, like, listen, um, I have a client that's running a 30 day health challenge. She's a health coach. Now, how would um, eating better and health and exercise, wouldn't that be something that, hey, corporate uh, employees would be interested in? So, and guess what happens is my client is, she's beautifully enrolling VIP one-on-one -on -one folks along the way. Hello. So everything that you're doing, you can run a challenge in corporate. It's so fantastic. So fun. Okay. A lot of energy. And that could be a paid challenge. You get, 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 get paid this. I'm not talking about a free challenge, run a paid challenge. The organization will reimburse you. 
And, you know, they're looking for ways where they don't have to do the heavy lifting all the time. Okay. And if you've got point of views, things you want to add, jump in. So of course, always. All right. So let's continue on. And by the way, did I tell you that I'm so glad you're here? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for making the time. Kisses to you. So, um, I, I'm just going to do a very, very quick recap. I'm Kathleen Caldwell, founder of C-Suite Network Women's Coaching and Consulting Council. You know, I mentioned yesterday that I have a very, I'm so thrilled to have a very strong group team coaching program where I go into corporations and I do exactly these things. To coach teams, coach groups, do offsites and retreats, all the things I'm going to share with you today. And also, I when I was in corporate, I was also a person, I was purchasing and making decisions about the vendors, the partners, the speakers, the authors that we would bring into corporate as well. So I have a really unique perspective on what makes a winning proposal, okay? And so we'll be talking about those things down the road, um, but I just want to give you an idea that there's multiple angles to this. And so and I'm so delighted to be able to share all this with you because the opportunity is real. Now more than ever, group team councils, masterminds, ERPs, ERGs, all of these types of things within corporate are so hot right now. And so, you know, just updating, uh, kind of like to update this. I have so much experience that I want to share with you in what works in small to medium sized businesses as well as large businesses. Okay. There's an art and a science to becoming sole source. There's an art and a science to being a preferred vendor. And I'll be delighted to share, share those strategies and proposals with you down the road. But um, there's, you know, the making the connection, getting in, and then, of course, getting the business, booking the business, and then nurturing that business so that literally new groups, new divisions, new departments, new areas of the business open up for you easily and effortlessly. So my whole goal is if you want to, you can have an opportunity to have multi-year contracts, multi-year contracts where you just on autopilot, you just essentially do training, do education, put together groups and masterminds and challenges and all kinds of fun things. And you've got a couple of corporate clients and automatically you've got a half a million dollar business. You've easily got a half a million dollar business. And I know it because I've done it and it's just easily literally spinning plates, but it's no, you're just keeping the plates moving with lots of contribution and fun and impact, loving kindness. And you're just working with people who want to work with you. So the chase for clients is you don't have a chase for clients anymore. It's so much easier to run your business, okay? So just curious, how does that sound to you? Do you like that idea? Yeah, yep, exactly. That's what I thought. Because corporations need you. We talked a little, a lot about that and a little yesterday, but more the first day is that we know the statistics about the loneliness, the quiet quitting, the quiet firing, the things that are happening. You can't pick up a news feed now and not really get that there's a lot of tumultuous things that are happening on the horizon, of course, in corporate. And so keeping great employees, retention is absolutely key. And people in corporate are looking for ways to do that. And so, you know, keeping engagement retention, loyalty, productivity, results, and a sense of camaraderie and mission, people doing work by doing good, and feeling aligned to their purpose, their work, that it's not just a nine to five job, but that their work has meaning. You as a coach and a consultant get to help them with that, okay? So there is an absolutely huge opportunity now, of course, in helping people connect with their purpose and their mission and helping people really get clear about why they're doing the work that they're doing and to solidify and anchor their purpose and their connection to the company. There's also huge opportunities right now, and I'll just put a little bookmark in this, make some notes because 
We know with the upcoming election in the United States, people are having a difficult time navigating the politics of, of things, navigating their own personal politics, but with co-workers politics, there's a lot of animosity and stress that's happening right now. Pick up the Wall Street Journal, pick up any news feed, you're going to see it. And so I just want to let you know, we're going to, in our council, provide special training and special certification and how to be a civility coach, okay? Bringing civility into the workplace so that it's part of people's mission and vision and values, their own personal values, you're going to be able to be certified as a civility coach, okay? So when you say you're certified, you know, that, that sets you apart immediately, okay? So any questions, any comments? You're seeing this too, aren't you? Things that are happening in the workplace. Yep, anything else? Feel free, raise your hand, jump off mute if you'd like to, yeah. So as Kip and I were talking earlier and sharing, the whole purpose of the challenge is to start to unlock parts of our business and our mind and our embodiment as a coach consultant to new opportunities, okay? And I want to tell you, uh, once you start unlocking these codes, <laughs> they, they, you know, parts of your reason for being a coach consultant, you get to remember what you loved about coaching and consulting. You get to remember the power of who you are and what you do. Back to those early days. Remember when you were a coach consultant and you were so excited, maybe you got your certification or you were a new entrepreneur and, you know, all the excitement of what I want to do and how I want to do it. And then over time, life gets in the way, okay? Client acquisition gets in the way and systems of CRM and all this type of stuff gets in the way. I want to help reintroduce to you and have you remember how powerful it is to have clients wanting what you want, calling you, embracing you, loving you, and seeking out you and your services. And that's what today is all about. Okay. It, how does this sound to you? Are you enjoying this? Liking this? Yep. Okay. Give me some visibility here. Thank you. Thank you. So a quick, 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 just a quick uh, reconnect with what we went through, talked about the other day is, you know, corporations, organizations, associations, hire coaches and consultants for so many things. Okay. I could, I have literally three, four, five lists of things. And um, by the way, I have an ebook that I'd be delighted to send to you, which has all of this in it. Where are the departments, the divisions, the opportunities? But these are kind of just some general things that people our corporate coaches and consultants get hired for, okay? And of course, most importantly, bringing people together. And that's what today's topic is all about, is how to bring groups together, teams together, people from different departments, divisions, people working better together. And that's what you have a unique opportunity to do. So our first day, we talked about what's your why? Why do you want to do this? Why is it important? Getting really clear about that. And of course, focusing in on where's your specialty? What's the special things that you bring into corporate? What's your unique you that corporations want? Okay. And, you know, just a quick review of these things. And of course, what's the experience that you want to bring into corporate? What, what are the special things that you want, want to address and hone in on? Okay. And then of course, we went into all about uh, the tactics of it. Make a list of the outcomes, the benefits of your current programs, and how can these outcomes and benefits, how can they help individuals, uh, employees, associates, leaders, management, all of the people within corporate? Because we want to corporatize your offer, okay? And to take it another level from, hey, I'm a leadership coach, or I'm a communication coach, or I'm a productivity coach, into more of a honed in message, all right? And of course, we're looking for the sweet spot always. Who are the best people, the best time, the best, where's the sweet spot for you to be able to get into the right corporations, the right organizations with the right people and the right teams, all right? And of course, 
just knowing that with everything we do, we've got to be able to help our clients produce results, okay? We don't need to produce the results for them, but we need to be the guide and the mentor, the coach on the side, so to speak, to be able to help them with the results they're looking for. It can't just be feel good anymore, okay? It's got to be feel good that translates into more productivity, that uh, translates into more client acquisition, whatever they're focused on, we've got to be able to translate what we're doing to results. All right. And so day one challenge, we made a list and then we went into day two, which is your local strategy. And so how do you, within a 100 mile radius, get all the business you ever want so that you're not on planes, trains, and automobiles from Sunday night until Friday night? you have a ton of business and the best way to do it is to start local. Okay. So we had a great strategy. Can do a research, do research, use AI, use Google, use any sort of list that you have to do a re do research about small, medium and large businesses within a hundred mile radius of where you live. All right. And that's a great place to start. I don't recommend trying to start with a Fortune 10 company, okay? Unless you have a great contact, you know, in that company. But start local. Make it easy on yourself. Get a win, okay? That's what I've done. My local town, Woodstock, Illinois, we have 24,000 people. And so being able to build a multi-six-figure business in my local area, literally within 15 miles, it's a beautiful thing. Work with my clients in the morning come home in the afternoon. My whole day is free. It's a beautiful way to work. Okay. Ease, fun, contribution. All right. So we're going to connect with them on email, social text, connect with them on LinkedIn. And we're just going to have a nice, easy conversation about, Hey, like to connect with you, see what's new. Just want to connect. Okay. Literally on the phone for 15 minutes. Okay. And if you know them very well, hey, why not say, hey, I'd like to, do you have a few minutes to have coffee together? If you're, you know, in the same neighborhood or the same area, do whatever feels right to you. And we went into the scripts yesterday and how to do it. And the braver strategy is, you know, to connect and have a conversation about you're doing research, honestly, doing research. And you're just wondering about their point of view, what are they dealing with, and do an interview process. So strategy one, number, number one is the brave, just connect to connect. Strategy number two is connect to have a conversation about business things, what are happening. And so yesterday I gave you the script on how to do that because we're looking for the best people to connect with that have the best quote unquote problems that you can solve. But we're not selling on the first call. No, no, no. We're just connecting. All right. And then this was the script we used. What are the biggest challenges that you're you're experiencing in healthcare, manufacturing, uh, education, government, whatever it is? And also do some research about them and their business, their organization, and just having a conversation about hey, uh, once they tell you what's happening, is your are you guys dealing with that? Is your team dealing with that? Is your location dealing with that? Oh, okay, got it. And then a beautiful question about, has your company invested in bringing in outside specialists or have you hired trainers to help with that? Or have you tried hired coaches or consultants? Then you're gonna know kind of what's their experience, okay? And then of course, we wanna thank them for their time. We're not selling on the first call. We're not pressuring, we're just gathering data. And so gather the data and also this key question, hey, could I reconnect with you and share my findings because I'm doing this research right now? They're always going to say yes, they want to know the research of what's going on with their peers, okay? And we talked about yesterday, detailed notes, track the results in your spreadsheet, do a beautiful analysis of what did you hear the most? What are the, the problems that you heard the most? What is Where did I hear the most energy? Or how's the impact or the implication of these, these problems in, in, you know, affecting their business? Rank how you can help them. We're going to corporatize our solution. And then go back in and reconnect with these beautiful people and say, hey, and we, we get into the details 
of the reconnect strategy in uh, the women's corporate coaching accelerator, but how to go back in and actually reconnect with them and then open the sales conversation. All right. But the basic thing you can do is just reconnect with them, share your findings, produce a white paper, ladies, produce a survey result, be the thought leader and the expert because you did the work to do the survey. And you know, when you do the work to do the survey, you do the work, you do the groundwork. Now this could take a couple days. It could take a week. It doesn't have to be a long order long program. Just do the work, produce the results, offer the results as a lead magnet or an item of value. And boom, you are now the thought leader expert. Okay. You've got a piece of equity there that no one else on the planet has. Okay. Pausing. This is a incredible, powerful strategy. I've used it time and time and time again. And this also, I want to share with you, once you get the results of this, you can use this as the subject for going into a SHRM chapter and talking, going into a management uh, association meeting, doing something on Zoom with the American Management Association or the American Physicist Association or whatever. You now have done the survey, bring the survey results bring the results, the data, bring the goods, bring the receipts, as it said, okay? And you will get booked to be a speaker, a highly valuable speaker in any association organization once you bring the intriguing results, okay? Thoughts, comments, questions about this, because we're going to move in today to how do we capitalize on all this? I want to stop sharing because I've been going at this accelerated speed now here for Question. several minutes. Yeah, great. What do you when think you, about the strategy? When you say, well, and, and it, it's good because I realized that um, I would have been putting the cart before the horse coming out with the hiring horse prior to doing the research. Um, well, I don't know. Maybe those two things are mutually exclusive. Anyway, um, in terms of a survey, do we want a written survey or do we want a, a series of in-person interviews, a focus group? What what what's the best way to to do that? Oh, Angela, it's it's perfect. That's a great question. I love the keep it simple, sweetheart approach. <laughs> keep it simple, sweetheart. Or I always say keep it simple and specific, but okay. yeah, yeah, exactly. That's it. That's it. Yeah, start. I for all of us, start where you're at. Start where you're at, you know, in a sea of coaches and consultants. And again, you know, this should probably be a member only VIP behind the scenes kind of, you know, program, but we're just do it, put it out there. How many coaches have done the work to do a survey? How many consultants have done the work to do a survey in their industry? Cool. You've got a sea of people and you doing the survey, posting the results, offering it as a lead magnet on topics that are important to your ideal clients it's huge. It's just huge. And so an online LinkedIn survey would be great, Angela. You can do an in-person, hey, I'm going to be offering, um, you know, this afternoon, a quick, quick, quick 30-minute roundtable circle for only VIP, your ideal client, put in the name of your ideal client. And we're going to be I want to get your point of view and your opinion on, on where is the marketplace going? What's happening now? And your ideal clients, I assure you, will raise their hand because they want to be part of something new and different and specific, sexy, fun, exciting. Don't invite them to a meeting. Who else wants to go to another meeting? <laughs> no. Okay, no. And well, you, know, you could do it in person, of course. Um I am doing an event in October with my ideal clients in my county, and I'm I'm providing a listening roundtable luncheon. I'm doing it at a, at a country club in my area, and I'm inviting all of my ideal clients, and I'm going to be, at, it's an invitation only, and it's a beautiful plated lunch. And I'm going to be just asking questions. I'm just I'm just doing some roundtables. What are they dealing with? They're going to get so much value because they're meeting their peers. I'm the connector. I'm listening. I'm going to be recording this with their permission. But it's an in-person, face-to-face 
invitation only event. Okay. And, you know, this is going to be something I'm going to invest about $30 per person in this beautiful, elegant country club luncheon. But who is doing that out there? Okay. Who's doing that type of thing? I'm making an investment in my ideal clients, in my community. From that event, it's going to be incredibly easy yeah. to have a mastermind, a group, a circle, be able to come into their corporations. But this is, it's a strategy that has worked for 15 years and it's really, really, really hot. Okay. It's an executive briefing kind of strategy. All right. So I make an investment. I invite them as a guest. They're wowed by this beautiful, beautiful um, country club. And, you know, I'm making an investment about five, $600. It's okay. I could spend that on Facebook ads and get no results, you know? Mm -hmm. yep. yep. So you don't have to do that. But what you could do is you could invite, if you wanted to do an in-person event, I invite everybody to a coffee breakfast or something in your area. You know, um, many times um, locations have got meeting rooms, schedule the meeting room, buy them a Danish and a cup of coffee. You might be investing $10, $15 per person. It'll be the $10, $15 that will make the biggest difference in your business. Okay. But thoughts, comments, questions. I just, my gosh, that right there was uh, incredibly powerful strategies that work. And yeah. there's just something about providing people food. And I joke about it, right? So you know, give me, give me food and I'm yours, but, but it's, it's, it's part of American culture. I mean, it doesn't matter how much money you've got, how successful you are. If somebody feeds you that, you know. Yeah. And, and perhaps I love that Angela and, you know, uh, I will be focusing in on what are the benefits for them attending? Why do they want to attend? Because to attend to uh, to attend to answer questions about a survey, not very compelling, but they'll be attending to be part of a select group of invitation only executive women who were part of a listening group. And we're going to learn more about what's happening now in the industry, what's happening now in the marketplace, what's happening now in Northern Illinois, use whatever you want and you're going to add value. Okay. Maybe you show a couple of PowerPoint slides. Hey, here's what I'm hearing in different groups around the United States. Here's what you need to be aware of that I'm hearing that my colleagues are sharing with me, always offering something of value but we are not selling. This is not a selling hard press kind of thing. No, it's value, value, value with a follow-up strategy, okay? And you're planting the seeds. Hey, I could bring her into my company. Hey, we're budgeting for next year's speakers. Hey, we're gonna do a board of directors. We wanna do a client appreciation retreat in Cancun. We need to hire her to come down and do that. I mean, the possibilities are endless, right? But if we don't take the first step, which we discussed yesterday, which is making a list, getting the connection going, your clients are not thinking about these things. We need to make the connection and plant these seeds and also just get the ball rolling. Okay. Anything else? Yeah. Do you like this? I think this is pretty fun. Yeah, it really is fun. And it is fun. Okay. So let's keep going. And by the way, everything that I've shared, I have done. Okay, I have firsthand experience. It works. Okay. And so, you know, part of what we want to do is we want to build a relationship and we want to uh, build trust, set up the opportunity for the next step. Again, we're not hard selling on the first call. We're not doing anything. No, we're just building the relationship. Okay. Being in service. And then we reconnect with this, this uh, strategy, this expert strategy, this survey expert strategy. We reconnect very quickly within the next week or so. And we share the results. And then the conversation is, Hey, how can I be helpful to you and your company? How can I be helpful? We already know through our spreadsheet, if they've hired consultants or coaches in the past, we already know their history in what they've done. And 
you know, if an organization, association, business, corporation has not hired a coach or consultant, I don't know if there's a company on the planet that has not hired someone outside specialist to come in. Okay. And then, you know, those are things that we open up in our women's corporate coaching accelerator is how to have that meeting, how to, what's the mindset, the executive presence you need, the whole script you need on how to go through that conversation to propose, how to put together a winning proposal, and of course, overcome objections, have confidence, and then how to be able to close the deal, but open the relationship. Okay. So there is a process to this. And you know, we yesterday made a list of all of our local contacts, reach out to people. That's the key thing because we've got to find that sweet spot. So today we are going to talk about groups, teams, partners, and community. You sisters are the conduit to all of this. Okay. Now more than ever, corporations are looking for ways to build community, connection, increase communication, belonging, solutions, if a company is not growing, they are dying, okay? They know that they've got to skill up their employees all the time. And if you know this is true, please put yes in the chat, okay? I want to get you doing something here. Put yes in the chat um, because they've got to be able to increase their skills. They've got to keep that competitive advantage and increase the purpose of what they're doing in connection with their employees, and the results. So you get to be the person that they bring in. And of course, you've got to bring the goods, okay, by coming in. But you coming in, there's so much opportunity because you get to be the partner that they're looking for. And of course, as we've discussed before, is you have multi-generations, you have diverse organizations, you've got all kinds of things that are happening and you get to be the glue that brings everybody together. And I got to tell you, I one of my favorite things is starting groups within corporations, starting masterminds, councils, and circles, okay? And we get to use the funds that they've already allocated for an in, uh, employee resource group or an employee resource program. We get to use special allocated funds to be able to do this. Okay. Questions, comments thus far. Anything that, that comes to mind? It's really thrilling. Yeah. Okay. So here is the money page. Okay. Here's the money page. There's a lot on here, ladies, but the opportunities are vast. I have two pages of opportunities for you. And of course, we start building the relationship and we have our radar up for how we can be helpful. But this is a menu of things that you can provide in corporations, okay? Obviously speaking, okay? Obviously speaking. And of course, we go into how to do a great corporate speech, how to do a keynote if you're a keynote speaker, and how to do a breakout room, okay? It's different. It's different. And, you know, as I mentioned, sp SIGs, special interest groups, employee resource groups, hot, hot, hot. Corporations will hire you for board of directors meetings, strategic planning. One of my clients just completed a retreat and an offsite for a board of directors. It was so incredibly successful. It was a multi-day event and they paid her a lot of money to do this. And then her keep in touch strategy is, all of these people were from different organizations. And so she gets to keep in touch. So she's creating a satellite constellation of opportunities. Really exciting. Okay. Shareholder meetings. You know, they're looking for always for speakers to bring in for shareholder meetings, roundtables, conferences, affiliates they have, associations, and partners. Okay. Every corporation is part of an association. All right. And so that association, the Plumbers Association, the Electrical Association, I have done so much business by being a keynote speaker in one company and then brought into their association to be the keynote. It's incredible. And then there's the constellation effect of what you're doing. All right. As we mentioned, retreats, special events, 
groups, teams, leadership, supply chain, you get to be the client value add. When they're bringing their clients in for a retreat, you get to be the person who brings in that special thing. Hey, we while you're here, we want to help you optimize your LinkedIn. So we have brought in Carol Hammer, and she is going to teach us on how to optimize our LinkedIn. That way, the corporation gets to add value to their clients, okay? And so it's it goes on and on, special topics, giving them a special experience, holidays, motivation, inspiration. One of my clients is a breath work uh, coach and con- consultant. So I helped her develop the strategy where she's bringing breath work into corporate retreats. She's getting paid a lot of money to do this, doing what she loves to do. So corporate and breath work, couldn't, okay, mm, is there a correlation there? Absolutely there is, okay? Yes, um, there's another client of mine that does special medicine, special circles that are very, very holistic, very powerful. We have a strategy now that she's implementing, which is to bring her special medicine her woo-woo to become the wow-wow in special retreats with their board of directors and with their high-level leadership. And so she comes in in her fullness as a woman-empowered, empathic leader, and she brings all of her medicine, her physiological and her curriculum and all of this into the corporation. At first glance, it doesn't make a lot of sense, but we've been able to corporatize her message to do this. And it's very, very powerful. Okay. So there we go. So wrapping things up a bit here is, you know, with our challenge, and we're going to go tomorrow into special Q and a, we're going to talk about the tactics, more tactics, but you know, that why of why are you doing what you're doing? Who's the target market that you're going to be targeting? Seeing the face of the person who's your ideal client, you know, imagining the the day in the life of your ideal client. What are your specializations and solutions? And then how do you get in, but first connect, okay? And then tomorrow we're going to talk about how to succeed. What are the strategies? What are the mindset? What's the positioning? What's the branding? What's the uh, approach that you need to take to be able to succeed in corporate coaching? Okay. So any comments, questions, I know I just dropped like literally a whole masterclass here in ideas. And I just want to pause for a moment, kind of absorb and assimilate. What are your thoughts? What are you thinking? Excited, I hope. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. Thank you. And I just want to also say thank you very much, Giselle, that um, your clients may not be thinking of all of these things. And so my suggestion is to be having at the ready. This is the menu of things that I can do. These are this is the menu of options and opportunities. Now, we don't want to give it to the client as a menu, but I just want this is for your purposes to have your radar up about how you can corporatize your message to be more effective in all of these areas, okay? And so that's really the key because when they say, hey, we're bringing our uh, team members from Europe over to the US for a retreat, I want you to lean in and say, hmm, I could be a breakout session uh, trainer and speaker for that. And so leading in and you saying, hey, would you like for us to, op- let's get their their LinkedIn optimized, or let's talk to them about the new trends in manufacturing, or let's talk to them about, um, you know, ways to be more visible or have better brands or whatever your expertise is. I want you to lean in to the possibilities, planting the seed. Maybe they're ready now, but they could be ready in the future. All right. But any questions, comments, anything right now? What, what do you think is your most exciting strategy that you've seen thus far that you're going, wow, I really like this and I'd like to take some action on this? Which one of these multitude of strategies are you leaning into? So 
so I'm still back on day two, <laughs> and my strategy for day two was to uh, to do phone interviews um, as as a way to gather information for that white paper or those um, data points. Excellent. I thought that that would be, um, you know, pretty personal yes. to be able to get people on the phone. Fantastic, Carol. Yes, and. Yeah. Ladies, a challenge is challenging. There's no doubt about that, right? A challenge is challenging. And my whole goal is to really present the wealth, the depth and breadth of opportunities here. There is a lot. And it starts with the first step, making that connection. Okay. Yeah, very good. And um, good. Anything else emerging for you? And by the way, I love how tactical you are, Carol. Thank you. Thanks. There's a lot of ideas here. Oh, sorry, Kim, go ahead. Yeah. Oh, I just want to say there's a lot of ideas here, but it's always that first step, right? You got to take that first step, get it outside, get out of your comfort zone and really reach out to people. And then that's where you get, you know, the feedback and, and all that. So, yeah. Thank you, Lee. You are so right, aren't you? Yes. Yeah. And magic occurs once that happens is just making yep. that connection and uh and it and it truly is um it, it truly is for all of us i don't want to say it's a numbers game but at the very beginning of this it is kind of a sorting sorting kind of game is who has their radar up who do i have a relationship with who do i know who likes and trusts me and who do i like as well who do i want to work with because I've been in corporate engagements where I wasn't a real happy camper. It was hard work for me to be able to go to it. It was not joyous because there was so much toxicity in the environment. But guess what? I took it as a rally cry. And you can too. A rally cry to, hey, I get to make a difference here. And I'm going to make a difference. Yeah. But starting with that first connection. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks, Lee. Beautiful. Yes. Kim, thoughts, comments, because we're going to wrap up here in just a moment. Yes. What I was going to say is that, so I do have an event. I have, a, I have a space reserved for an event in October. I haven't started marketing or anything like that. And so I, I like your, and, and my intent was for it to be about 10 women, not a large group, you know? And so I like some of the suggestions you gave, even the titles, you know, uh, I don't know, like a round table circle or, you know, yes. round table, that sort of thing. So I, I, I reserved it for a Saturday morning. Great. So I'm just, you know, sort of toying around with, I may tweak some of what I'm going to do there and, and do more listening than, you know, teaching or training and, and get something from them versus, you know, add some value, but listen, right? Not just pour, you know, have them sit there and we talk to them, but right. Really, yes. Yeah. Beautiful, Kim. Thank you. And, you know, for all of us to think about, you know, doing that survey first, what is your ideal client looking for? And perhaps it's, you know, as an example, Carol, just jumping into your area for sure too, is yes, they're looking for LinkedIn. They're looking to have their, their LinkedIn profile strategized, uh, um, optimized, and then they're looking for connection to others in LinkedIn. But why don't we see if we could level it up to think about what's the bigger purpose or the bigger reason that they want all this, okay? Leveling it up to, okay, job satisfaction, more opportunities in their work to be more visible, to be more in demand, to make more money, have more fun, do work that's meaning. So having the event, at that level, and then the strategies and tactics of how to do it is what you could cover too. And bringing in partners, you know, people who are aligned with you and your mission, it, when you bring in the right partners to support you, you get to be the person who knows all the right people and be able to, you be the, you're the catalyst to kind of be the director of all this. So bringing in the right partners who are connected to you to add value and to add value to them. Hot, hot, hot. Okay, great. So, wow. Okay, taking a deep breath. 
expanding our opportunities from the one-on-one. We were spending a lot of time the last couple of days focusing in on the individual person and also thinking about what are the opportunities beyond, you know, to connect with and make add value with that one person, but also beyond that, what's the reach we can help. And also the biggest thing, I don't know that I've mentioned this too, but one of the things that's very important to me and one of my key strategies is when I have a partnership and a connection with a person in a corporation, my whole goal is to help them win. Always. How can I help that one person win? Because if they're going to be bringing me into other departments and divisions, uh, introducing me to their management teams, their leadership teams, their board of directors, I have to understand what their win is in order to support them. So I put that person in the halo, let me tell you. And, and I am, you know, authentically, of course, but I want to do everything I can to support that person to get what they want. And then guess what? They help me get what I want. So we act in partnership always with me and my advocate, my ally, my trusted advisor in the corporate, in the corporation. So yeah, fun, really, really fun. And it changes it from a transaction transactional relationship into a partnership, into an alliance. And that's why women that I've worked with, good golly, for 15, 20 years uh, and beyond, keep coming back, keep attending events, keep coming to my circles, keep doing things, keep introducing me because my commitment is to help them get what they want. Okay. And the same for each of you. Yep. Yep. Okay. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Tomorrow is all about succeeding. Tomorrow is mindset, strategies, how to move beyond resistance. And tomorrow is how do we actually succeed? We've been laying the framework. It's been absolutely a fast-paced, accelerated challenge. But tomorrow is all about the details. Okay. And Today's challenge event, you know, when the the next to do next to do thing is to think about the programs, products, and services that you currently have, and how can we corporatize them for groups? All right, and to be able to think about, okay, well, I do this one particular thing, but let's level it up into a greater purpose, into a greater outcome, to greater results. I want all of us to be thinking bigger to thinking more expansively, think like a world-class coach consultant, all right? If you were, since you are the best of the best, you are the best of the best because you've done your survey, you have the results, you've got the book, you've been doing speaking, you all these doing all these things, how will you be operating, all right? As a global leader in this, highly in demand, and how will you be operating, all right? And to take it from and take what you're doing from a niche, a small department, a small area, really good. And let's think about how we can expand this to greater impact. All right. And so by me just setting this seed for you and you in your mind saying, hmm, okay, new things are going to happen for you in the next 24 hours. Okay. Be ready for miracles to occur. All right. Just be sure it's going to happen. You're going to get that call. You're going to make that connection. So today's challenge is let's make a list of what you're doing right now or what you'd like to do. Let's think about the corporate application of it. And the extra bonus challenge is continue to reach out. Reach out to at least five people today. Just do it, okay? Schedule a brief conversation. Don't You don't have to do the survey. If you want to do the survey, great. But just reach out to five people. Hey, was thinking about you genuinely and authentically. Hey, I was thinking about you. We haven't talked in a while. Just want to catch up. What's new in your world? And, you know, nothing about, hey, I'm starting a new gig. I've got a new offer. No, 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 no. Connect human to human. All right. Okay. Take action. That's the key. None of this matters, ladies, unless we take one small action. And so I appreciate you today taking the action of being here. Tomorrow's going to be our wrap up. We're going to talk about mindset, executive presence. We're going to talk about effectiveness. We're going to talk about an accelerated plan. How do you get this? So you can have a reinvented business, like no kidding, tomorrow. All right. Thank you for your time today. 
biggest takeaway from our time? What's your biggest takeaway? This helps to reinforce the bookends. Okay, I just invested 55 minutes and here's what I got in return. Jump in, biggest takeaway. Feel free, put it in the chat. It starts with the first step. Thank you, Carol. Yes, exactly. Yes, very good. Yeah, make sure you reach out and, and connect. I mean, mm -hmm. it's just like this group too, right? This is a, a small group of us, you know, and we're reaching out and we're connecting. So it's a first step and we're going out and connect more, right? So Absolutely, yes. And I want to connect you, Lee, with Carol, because Carol's in the Minneapolis area and Lee, you're oh, in the Minneapolis area, yes. right? Yes. So we've already got a great connection and the two there of you, you, all right. So get connected on LinkedIn, of course. Yeah, very good. Wonderful. Right. Thank you. Hey, the miracles are already occurring, right? Yeah, very good. Kim, thank you. Uh, Lee, thank you. Carol, thank you. Kim, jumping in, your final takeaway from today. And thanks, Giselle. Yes, thank you. Create authentic connections. Very nice. Glad you're here. Thank you. Yeah. I think for me, a big uh, one of many was corporatizing my offer and seeing how I can do that in a, you know, a, a unique manner and, and sort of be, I don't know what the, the term you use was, not just a thought leader. Um, I can't remember what the term you used was, but like, just be be the one, right? That does it differently, or that, you know, that kind of thing. So, <laughs> I know the terminology you used, but yeah. And I think my mind is, like, you know, spinning and thinking about a lot of different things. So, yeah, Excellent. good, wonderful. Thank you, thank you. Great, good. So we'll see you tomorrow. We're going to expand on this and. What a joyous time. I loved being with you. I've loved being with you the last couple of days and um, really lit up my life. And I really appreciate that. This is something we can do, we should do, and we must do. Okay. And let's get going. All right. Thank you, ladies. We'll see you tomorrow. Same, same place, same bat channel, bat woman channel. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Take care. Have a good day. Thank you. Have a good one, guys. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you.